हेलो एवरी वन लेट्स टॉक अबाउट नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडेक्स ऑफ अ प्रिज्म फॉर दिस लेट्स सी द डायग्राम ए बी सी इज द ट्राइंगुलर सेक्शन ऑफ द प्रिज्म पी क्यू इज द इंसिडेंट रे क्यू आर इज इंटरमीडिएट रे एंड आर एज इज इमरजेंट रे सिमिलरली आई इज एंगल ऑफ इंसिडेंस ई इज एंगल ऑफ इमरजेंस डेल इज एंगल ऑफ डेविएशन एंड ए इज एंगल ऑफ प्रिज्म so in triangle qdr angle dqr in triangle qdr if we have to talk about this angle this angle means angle dqr this angle will be equal to i minus r1 why why is this i minus r1 because this complete angle is i according to vertically opposite property and if this is r1 then this will be i minus r1 same is written over here angle dqr is equal to i minus r1 similarly angle drq let's see the angle drq this is d this is r and this is q so this small angle is angle drq if this angle is uh, e this complete will also be e this angle is r2 so this is small one will be e minus r2 similar same is written over there so according to exterior angle theorem if we apply exterior angle theorem for the same triangle you can say these two angles which we have calculated are two interior angles of the triangle and del is the far distant in exterior angle of the same triangle so we can say that del is equal to i minus r1 plus e minus r2 which can also be written as del is equal to i plus e minus r1 plus r2 let it be equation number 1 now in quadrilateral aqer let's see quadrilateral aqer this is aqer angle aqe means this complete angle is 90 degree because this is the normal and angle are is also 90 degree because this line is also normal so if two angles of a quadrilateral are 90 90 each then definitely the sum of remaining two will be equal to 180 degree so here it is written so angle a plus e is equal to 180 degrees these are two remaining angles of that same quadrilateral let it be equation number 2 now in triangle qer let's see the triangle qer this is q this is e and this is r qer the sum of three angles means r1 plus r2 plus e must be equal to 180 so this is the equation r1 plus r2 is e plus e is equal to 180 degrees this is equation number 3 now from equation second and third we can say from equation second and third e e is common 180 180 is common definitely r1 plus r2 must be equal to this a so it is written a is equal to r1 plus r2 and this is equation number 4 now from equation first and fourth in equation first it is written del is equal to i plus e minus r1 plus r2 this r1 plus r2 can be replaced by a so it will become del is equal to i plus e minus a this is equation number 5 now if the condition is of minimum deviation in the condition of minimum deviation del is equal to del m then i must be equal to e and r1 is equal to r2 say equal to r so in equation number 5 this is equation number 5 if we put i plus e i uh, is equal to e so this i plus e will become 2i so from equation 5 we will get del m is equal to 2i minus a from this if the value of i is determined then it will be i is equal to del m plus a by 2 let it be equation number 6 now from equation 4 in equation 4 i am putting r1 is equal to r2 is equal to r means a is equal to 2r so it will become a is equal to r plus r from this r can be equal to a by 2 let it be equation number 
now from equation 6 and 7 we we have already determined the values of i and r so now we can easily apply the Snell's law so Snell's law n is equal to sin i upon sin r on placing the values of i and r it will become n is equal to sin del m plus a by 2 upon sin a by 2 this is the expression of refractive index of a prism considering that the outer medium is air that is all for this derivation thank you